Ese ya no lo pude quitar. Pues. Hello, guys. You are early. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Nice seeing you.
Hello again. Welcome. Everything is okay. How was your day? Hello, everyone. Hi, Exhausted. Tired. A little tired, but I'm okay. I am enthusiastic to, to learn. That's the best. That's the attitude. Good vibes. Everybody studies, where do you study? University, high school, where? Or working? On this moment, only working. Just working. Yeah. Okay, and the rest? Carlos, Rolando, Nancy, Carla, Christian, Mary Ann. I am student and I work in my business. Okay. Where do you study? Do you, uh, university or still? In, no, yeah. you are the university. university. Okay, cool. That's great. <clears throat> okay, guys. Uh, please, the uh, as always, um, your cameras, your participation. Okay. I need it and most, well, what we need most is, as Victor says, the attitude, right? We are here to learn something new. Yes? Welcome everyone. Welcome to this class today. How are you doing today? I was trying to, to conversate with some of you. Meanwhile, the rest of your classmates join. They are coming. Welcome again. Everything is okay. <clears throat> Today, I guess we're going to practice questions. If you remember yesterday, we were practicing or we have been practicing affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. We mentioned questions yesterday, right? Uh, so right now we're going to do something. Let's suppose we are in a interview, a job interview. So you are going to ask me questions. Yep, like teacher, do you, do you, do you? What time do you, where do you? Uh, when do you, or does your brother or does your sister questions in simple present, right? With do or does in WH questions. Let's try to um, um, let's try to to go. One question at a time, one, 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 one. You ask one and give the chance to another person. So think about a question. Think about a question, everybody. Who wants to go first? Question number one. Me van a interrogar hoy. Teacher, who old are you? Oh, 40. I am in my 40s. 40 something. 43. I'm 43. Thank you. Next. But remember questions with do or does. Okay. Question number two. Do you eat right now? If I eat, no, I'm I'm hungry, but I'm not eating. Nine or ten o'clock. Next. 
This no, no hemos bueno, yo no he comprendido todavía, teacher. Me cuesta. Okay, we are practicing questions. If you remember yesterday. Estuvimos practicando cómo formular un poquito las preguntas. ¿Se acuerdan? Las yes questions y las no questions. Yes, no questions. Eh, WH questions. Like, well, chat. If you can speak, it would be better. Because remember that speaking is the best. Uh, yes, because it says, oh. do you, teacher, do you drive a car? I don't. Uh, do you work in the park sometimes? Uh, but let's try to, to speak, not to write, because we need to speak. Next question. You know, double edge question, what you say, what the time is it, teacher? Yes pero las necesito con lo que estamos viendo, ya sea el do o el does, como las que vimos pero, anoche. Yes? How many groups do you teach? Uh, in here, only one. One group. Because remember that I have, I work in a different place. Questions? Estamos intentando de formular preguntas y las preguntas van dirigidas hacia mí. Me están interrogando. Coach. Hello, Kenya. Do you have a pet? Yes. I have a dog and I have a cat. What is your favorite cat? My favorite cat. Yes, the color. Um, I like white. More questions. I'm going Do to. Do you have cats? Black cats? No, I don't. I don't. Oh uh, no, I'm going to. I'm going to show you some other, well. Podría ser, do you have a brother? I don't have brothers. I have a sister. Teacher, este, what? What do you like to do? I like, I like to drink coffee. I like to drink um, coffee. Okay. I like to play soccer. I like to read. Where do you like? Live, I live in Santa Ana. Okay. Aha, more questions. Do you speak other language? Mm, I speak a little French, but just a little, not too much. And there you have more examples, if you remember. Questions. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you. So you can take examples. Do you get up early or do you get up late, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Who continues with another question? Teacher, do you like drinks on weekend? Drink, drink what? <laughs> 
I like to better. drink. I like to drink a lot of coffee. I drink coffee. a lot of coffee. Only coffee. Yeah. A lot coffee with milk. Mm. No, black. Black coffee. Yes. Okay. Repeat that, please. Do you have any brother or sister? I have a sister. Do you have a car? I don't. Teacher, do you have family? Do you have daughters and sons? Uh, I don't. I don't have wife. I don't have kids. I have one nephew and I have one niece. I guess the one that was behind. She's my niece. When is your birthday? November the 2nd. Teacher, what time do you get up every day and why? Oh, I get up at 4, 4 30 every day because I go to work. What time do you get up, Kenya? I get up at 7 a.m. because I study at the university. Okay, at seven. That's okay. Mm -hmm. More questions? Come on. What do you do? Um, I am a teacher. I teach English. I teach English at a university during the day. And I teach English here. Uh, in national. No. No, it's another university. Where do you learn? I started at the National University. Do you do you where do you teach? I don't know if I have to if I can mention that. <laughs> at Unicaes, Universidad Católica, in Santa Ana. I, I don't know if I should have said that. I don't know, I don't have. <laughs> Teacher, what do you like the most about teaching? Probably the relationship that I have with some students. And when the students appreciate that's something that I like. Okay, guys, so I stop right there. We're going to stop this practice. If you notice, we're going to practice this conversation. Well, if you remember, yesterday we practiced this a little bit, if you remember, uh, different verbs um, have, I have a bike, uh, we do our homework every day, my parents go to work by bus, my father has a car, my mother does a lot of work at home, the bus goes downtown, those are irregular verbs, if you remember. Y que les mencionaba que esos verbos no solamente agregan una S, sino también la E. Yes, do you remember that? And there is a short exercise here. It says, Ashley is talking about her family and her friend Jason. Complete the sentences. Then compare with a partner. So uh, I suppose you have this this manual, right? And probably you completed the exercise. Completaron el ejercicio? 
No. Yesterday, do it was doing it. Let's try to to do it. If you have, if you can, you can copy. You can take note. Um, I'm going to read, and you help me. You complete the sentence. For example, my parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad, which is correct, go or goes? My mom and dad go. 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 Town to work. My parents are very busy. So I do. do. I do a lot of work at home. Number two, my brother doesn't live with us. He has, has an apartment in the city. He goes, goes. goes to school all day. And he does, does, does office work at night. At night. Number three, I have a new friend. His name is Jason. We do. We go. Uh, we, we go. go yeah. We go to the same school. And sometimes we do, do our homework together. Yeah. Very good. Now, now you, who wants to read number one? ¿Quién lee el primer párrafo? You have to use the correct verb. Usando el verbo. Try? Victor. Number one or number three? Uh, number one. Number one. My parents have a house in the, in the suburbs. My mom and my dad go down town to work. My parents are very busy, so I do a lot of work at home. Very good. Easy. Easy. Uh, my parents are very busy. Good. Number two. Okay. Number two. Yes. My brother doesn't live with us. He has an apartment in the city. He goes to school all day and he does office work at night. Perfect. Thank you very much. Number three. Number three. Okay. I, I have a new friend. His name is Jackson. We go to some school and sometimes we do our homework together. Great, good job, good job. More volunteers, number one. Kenya. My parents have a house in the suburbs. My mom and dad go downtown to work. My parents are very busy, so I do a lot of work at home. Nice. Very fluent. Number two, another volunteer. Next. My brother doesn't live with you. He have. He has an apartment in the city. He go he goes to the school and they and he does 
he does of work at the night. Right. Okay. Um, let's see. With with us, my brother doesn't live with us. With us. With us. With us. He has an apartment in the city. He goes to school all day and does office work at night. Very good, Marian. Number three, more participants. There I am. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I have a new friend. His name is Jackson. We go to the same school. And sometimes we do our homework together. Together. Together, okay. Together. Together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No yet. No yet. No yet. Uh, I'm gonna do it right now. I guess everybody's here, right? So, um, let me see. Everybody listen, please. All right. Alison, Rachel, Celis, Ortiz. Alison, she was not here yesterday. Hello, Alison, Rachel, Celis, Ortiz. No. Carlos, Andres, Pacheco, Calderón. Present. Thank you. Christian Alexander Perez Portillo. Problems with the microphone? Gabriela Present. Alejandra, thank you. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Cuella. <clears throat> She's there. Jesus Antonio Artiaga Benitez. Present. Thank you. Jose Alexander Pacas Alvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Elizabeth Hernandez Peña. Thank you very much. Kenia Briseida Torres Martinez. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Janine Aguillon Lopez. Kimberly Janine Aguillon Lopez. No. Lindsay Indira Lobo Diaz. Present. Thank you. Maria Ana de Jesus Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Maria Stephanie Orellana Flores. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejia. Present. Thank you. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Thanks a lot. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landaverde. Present. Thanks. Verónica Magali Martinez Martinez. Present. Hello, thank you. 
Víctor Manuel Guardado Torres. Present. Uh. Vilma Rubenia Campos Martínez. Present teacher. And that's it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right, there we go again. <clears throat> okay, any comment or question with this, with this irregular verbs, pronunciation, new words, new vocabulary? Any comment with this about it? No, no comments. Let's move on. I'm just running. So, after that, we uh, started practicing questions with do and does. So, Jack and Amy are speaking. I'm going to read first the whole conversation. You listen, pay attention for a pronunciation, okay? Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Now, this is one more question. Yes. Which um, and the use the have has. Oh. Y use go y goes. And, uh, ahí yo me quedo como la duda. No la entendí muy bien en qué momento. Voy a usar el has y el have y okay. el go y el go y do, do, es verdad. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, good question. Let's see. Give me a second. Where is it? Porque ayer vimos cómo, con qué eh, verbo vamos a usar el don y el das, ¿verdad? Con I, you, we, they, y he, she, it. Pero sé que está el, el uso del have y el has. Como en, la, en, la, en el ejercicio que acabamos de, de realizar. Uh -huh. Yes, ok, I got it. Eh, check this. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> this. I'm going to use this one from this one. Well, these are some examples, some question examples. <clears throat> well, uh, the verb have and has, right? Okay, this one, we use this one, yeah, for example, um, I have a dog. I have a dog. El es el verbo tener. Okay? El verbo tener. I have a dog. You have a good teacher. You have a good teacher. 
Eh, oops, sorry. Um, we we have class tomorrow. We have class tomorrow. Uh, they have a new a new car. They have a new car. Okay. Um, okay. There you have the verb. Have has. I have a dog. You have a good teacher. We have class tomorrow. They have a new car. But we use has with he. He has a dog. Okay. He has a dog. He does not have a cat. Now, pay attention to this. A uh, I'm going to write another one. Give me a second. She has a brother. A brother. He has a brother. She does not have a sister. Okay. He has a dog. He does not have a cat. She has a brother. She does not have a sister. So, first, have and has, ambos son el verbo tener. I have, he has. We use has with he. And we use has with she. Or my mom, my mom. It includes and bien. It, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, it. Let's say it. It. It has. Um, this one should be. It has. Um, It has what? My dog has a dog. A what? A what? A dog? Dog. Dog. Mm, Perro. Not uh, okay. Uh, yes, but for eso it mismo. Has a, a dog. It. It has, it has a dog. Ajá. Mm, esa es la idea. Eh, porque recordémonos que el it es un pronombre que sustituye a algo eh, o una cosa. Eh, si yo digo, yo puedo decir my dog. Ok, digamos, voy a quitar el pronombre. Puede ser. My dog. It has a green, it has a green hair. Okay. Yeah. It has a my green dog, hair. My dog has green eyes. Okay. My dog has green eyes. It does not have black eyes. Okay. So there you have my dog. Estamos hablando de mi perro. My dog has green eyes. It, siempre mi perro, does not have black eyes. Okay? So we use has, como lo mencionó, con los pronombres o las terceras personas del singular. He, she, my dog, or it. Okay, 
usamos has, pero oraciones afirmativas. O para afirmar. Porque si luego observa en la negativa, en la negativa ya no usamos has. Pasó a ser have. Ok. Check this. Ok. En afirmaciones, has. Con he, she, it. Pero si negamos, pasa a ser have. Con he, she, it. He has a dos. Exactly. Porque estamos usando el auxiliar does. He has a dog. He does not have a cat. She has a brother. She does not have a sister. My dog has green eyes. He does not have black eyes. Okay? The same happens in questions. Si preguntamos, does she? ¿Cuál sería en este caso? Have or has? Does she? Has. Has. Mm, have. Yeah, have. Have. Have porque estoy utilizando el does. Porque estamos utilizando exactamente el auxiliar does. Al utilizar el auxiliar, aunque tengamos acá she, um, sería have. Does she have blue eyes? Tiene ella ojos azules. Sigue, eh, ahí, eh, ahí mismo lo dijeron, sigue la misma regla de si yo utilizo acá el das con she, does she drive, como estoy utilizando el auxiliar, el verbo ya no agrega s. Ok, pero en este caso, por ser un verbo irregular, no es que agregue s. Ok. Es un verbo regular. Irregular. Does she have blue eyes? Does she drive? Okay. That's it. Is it clear? Or do you still need more information? Let me... Únicamente en tercera persona se utilizaría el das. Este, y en primera persona, en, por ejemplo, do you, do you have, este, we do, siempre se utilizaría nada más el do. Y en afirmativo no se le agregaría la S al verbo. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No more questions. Thank you. Thank you. I don't understand everything. Please, sir. Thank you. Yes. Vilma. Eh, este, una pregunta. El DAS solo lo vamos a utilizar. El DU y el DAS lo utilizamos solo en pregunta. Con... Sí, ¿verdad? Preguntas y negaciones. Mm, gracias. Let me... Where is it? Oh, this is in the... Let's see...
Do you remember this? Simple present statements. There you have affirmative sentences and negative sentences. Okay. In negative sentences, we use the auxiliary, do or does, but in negative, don't or doesn't. Affirmative, negative, okay? We use el auxiliar do y does para negar. Colocar oraciones negativas, okay? And... And today, estamos practicando preguntas, ahí mismo aparece el do y el does para hacer preguntas. Y las mismas reglas, el do, I, do, we, they. Do you, do you drive? Do we drive? Do they drive? Okay. Sería también el go con esos eh, go los que mencionaba la compañera Stephanie. Eh, go y go es no sé cómo se pronuncia. Con go. I, you, we y they. Sí, sure. Yo creo que nosotros aprendemos más. Bueno, yo siento que, que, que le entiendo más cuando usted abre la pantalla. Y hace las divisiones así como hizo ahorita de, de how we has. Y cuando hizo don it doesn't. Ok, ok. So let's do it. Ok. Uh, let's go here. Porque el uso del do también lo podemos tomar, teacher, como el don y el doesn't. Solo que sería en positivo, do, do y does. Como afirmativo, ya, ya me perdí, ¿cómo? <risa> es que vaya, usted nos puso en I, you, we, they, usamos don't, que es la parte negativa del do. Uh -huh. Y en he, she, it, usamos doesn't. Entonces, en este caso sería dos, dos. No, ajá. En, usaríamos he, she, it, el dos. Dos, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Dos. Ajá, usaríamos el dos. Yes. Let me see. Uh -huh. If we use this one, let's do, I'm going to use this one. There you have, right? Um, something like this. Does okay. And uh, let's see something like this and do. Okay, so we use does. Does he, she, it do? I, you, uh, we, they, okay, like this. 
in questions, right? So let's suppose here, does he, does he take the bus? A question. Uh-huh. Does he take the bus? Uh, does she? Okay, y como estamos en pregunta y utilizando el does, omitimos la S, ¿verdad? En el verbo. Entonces, does she look pretty? Does she look oops, pretty? Luce ella bonita. Eh, does it, does it run, digamos, hablemos del perro, does it run in the park? Okay, question. You see? Then, now, eh, do. We're checking the rules. Do. Like this. And... I'm going to take this one. Here. In this case, do, do I take the bus? Do you? And I can uh, write another one, another question. Do you take the bus? Another one. Do they take the bus? There you have the rule. Does with he, she, it, do with I, you, we, they. And, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you. I don't understand. Okay. There you have the questions. Um, and you were asking me about go. Remember that go... Esos son unos verbos irregulares. Um, I can write, for example, let's see, right here, an example. Let's see. I don't know if you can read the letter is small. He, for example, he, he goes to church. He goes to, uh, what? Sorry, he goes to church, he goes to church. Okay, that's it. He goes to church. I'm going to write some sentences here. He goes to church. Okay, affirmative sentence, okay? But if I write he, a negative sentence, he does not go to the gym. Negative sentence. Okay. There you have one affirmative and one negative. He goes to church. He does not go to the gym. Tienen el mismo verbo, pero ¿se acuerdan que también les di la, la regla donde decía si el verbo termina con O y otras terminaciones agregaba ES, no solamente la S. He goes, he does, ¿ok? Eh, luego en la negación, porque usamos el auxiliar does, entonces omitimos la regla. He does not go. To the gym. If it is a question, we use the auxiliary. Does he does he go to the mall? Al centro comercial. There you have. Mm -hmm. Affirmative, negative, and question. He goes to church. He does not go to the gym. Does he go to the mall? Question mark. Okay. Does he go to the mall? The rule, the same rule. Y esto sucede con esos verbos, ¿no? No solo con el go, 
sino todo verbo que termina con la vocal o. Go, do. Uh -huh. eh, y las otras terminaciones también que agregaban es. He washes his car. Oops. Washes his car. Affirmative. We can say he does not wash his bike. Okay. Negative. If you see there we have some other examples with another verb. Otro verbo. Um Con la terminación, right? ES, washes. Pero luego en la negativa, por la misma regla que tenemos acá en el auxiliar, aquí ya omitimos la ES. Y lo mismo sucedería en la pregunta. Como usamos el auxiliar, does he wash? Omitimos la S o la ES. Does he wash? Um, his bike question okay there you have now is it clear or do you get more confused well okay Thank you. Something else? Any other question or comment, guys? No question. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Let's practice. Let's speak. Speak practice. Okay, so Jack and Amy, let's practice the conversation. In and if you notice in the conversation, we have questions. Okay. So I need two volunteers, Jack, Amy, who wants to participate. You can do. Victor, you are Jack. I need a lady. Who? <laughs> Vilma. Vilma. Okay, Vilma. You are Amy. Okay, Victor, you start. Okay, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time to get up on Sundays? Um, 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday I get up at noon. Did you cut? Breakfast then? Do you eat? Ah, sí. Sure. Did you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Very good. Let's let me and this restaurant restaurant at one o'clock. They serve me breakfast all day. Okay. Perfect. I like it. Two more volunteers. Let's continue practicing. Marianne. Marianne, Marianne. He escuchado una canción o algo con Marianne. Aha. A boy. Yo, teacher. Go ahead, Jose. 
So you start, Jose. Uh, let's go to the park on the Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekends. What time do you get out on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, or that early on Sunday, I'll get up and no. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's, let me at this restaurant at one o'clock, they serve breakfast, breakfast all day. Yeah, perfect. All day, all day. Let's check some words. Uh, eat Sundays breakfast. In the last one, then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. Okay, thank you very much. Two more. Here. Jesus. In Kenya. Okay. You, okay, you start. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Uh, okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep at a weekend. What time do you head, get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that early on Sunday and I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sir, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Sure. It says, do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Perfect. Marianne? Yes, right? No. Había quedado la manita alta. No, I don't know. <laughs> sí, quedó la manita arriba. <laughs> Sorry. Next. Teacher, meat is... Quedar, meet no es conocer o se escribe diferente. Mm, it's the same, it's the same. Meet. Uh, mm, en este caso, let's meet. Let's meet. Eh, escuchado la palabra meeting? Como reunión, reunirse, algo es, así. Es, es esta misma, ese es el verbo reunir. Entonces ahí le dice, let's meet. Encontrémonos, reunámonos. Let's meet. At this restaurant. O podría ser, veámonos en este restaurante. Let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. Okay, let's meet. Good. Any other question? Pero no conozco ningún restaurante que sirva desayuno todo el día. Mm, well, I guess there's one here in Santa Ana. <laughs> I guess. Recuerdo que así nos dijeron. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it would be nice, right? Mm -hmm. eh, desayuno <laughs> En San Rafael Cedro también. Ah, oh, yo sí. Así que yes. pueden ir allá en la tarde, tipo tres, a desayunar. <laughs> ok. Um, ok, two more volunteers. We're about to finish. Let's continue. Who wants to practice? Carlos, your Jack. Ladies, I need a lady. A woman, a girl. Uh -huh, ladies. 
Here goes, coach. Tanya. Okay, Tanya, thank you very much. Carlos, Ready? you start. Let's go with the part of Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early on Sunday. I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet in the restaurant at uh, at one o'clock. They serve uh, serve breakfast all day. Nice, very good. They serve breakfast all day. Okay. I don't know. If someone else. No more. No, no. Teacher, what is the difference in everybody and everyone? Everybody, everyone. Mm. There's not a difference, actually. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same. But I can see in necessity to see alguna and alguna situation in specific. I remember, I'm not sure, I'm going to investigate to be sure, but I remember that I read that. Oh, no, 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 that's different. Everyone and everybody. No, that's not the, 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 the other one. It's the opposite, everybody and no one. There, there's something. But in this case, you can use uh, those words interchangeably and that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, no problem. What else, guys? Any problem? How are you doing on the platform? Are you working? No, no problem. No problem. I, okay, no. good. That's perfect. So, I guess we stop right here, guys. Thank you for attending your class. Thank you very much for your participation. And let's keep on working, okay? Let's try to do the best every day. Enjoy your dinner. I don't know if you are going to have dinner, but have a very yes, good I'm night. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> so yeah. good night, everyone. See you good tomorrow. Night. Good, night. good night, everyone. Good, night. good evening. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.